And now we've got the hand in the middle of the neck. Now we'll put the hand to the lower back. Yeah. And with the hand to the lower back, we're starting the first part of the sequence for the bladder self-help circuit. The bladder is a trash collector for the body. And so when we do this system, we're starting to release the trash from all the organs from the neck down to the middle of the back. We'll have Ozzy hold this for just a little bit longer. So we'll probably start to feel him relax a little bit and start the energy will go from the neck to the lower part of the back. Yeah. And then we take the left hand and put it behind the left knee. Next part of the releasing of the bladder self-care circuit. As we all know, when we get scared, our bladder tends to self-release. Uh, in short, you pee your pants when you're scared. And that's not necessarily desirable. So if we release it ahead of time, the, the trash, then and also probably relieve the bladder, that, then situations are less stressful. Yeah, I'm hold this just a little bit longer. And now he takes his left hand and brings the left leg up so he can get a hold of the pinky toe. He actually needs to hold on to the ankle for a bit first. This is not a great shot of that as we just pre froze the frame. However, it does it show that his fingers are pointed towards the ankle on the outside. And this is the connection point along still holding on the other hand at the back of the head. Yeah. We can get a hold of the sides of the top of the bottom or just wrap fingers around it in any way general. There may be a spot that's a little more tender as you're kind of working around the pinky toe. And if it's a little more tender, then it's good to apply gentle pressure to it to release that. It might be more on the sides, it might be more on the front or back. And then we hold that for a bit. And then we'll have him release the back of his neck and the pinky toe. And just in a, in a casual position, put the leg down on the ground for just a moment between as we prepare. And we'll prepare to go into to the kidney circuit. Kidney start, circuit starts with the left hand, the right hand going to the pinky toe. And the left hand goes to the base of the pelvis. And obviously doing this in public might get you a lot of interesting looks. Ignore them. What they don't know won't hurt them. If you're not comfortable or if it is too public, you can also put the thumb to the pinky finger. And that will reflex a little bit into the pelvic bone but it's more effective to just hold on to the top of the pelvic crest. And then as we've gone into this about 30 seconds or so, then you release the pinky toe and put the right hand at the base of the spine. There's a lot of 
also this position by itself if you're in a place where it's not too odd to have your hand low in your tummy like you're in a bus or a train or a plane or something or not driving I mean with your hands if you can drive without your hands just using your toes this would be okay but that's probably not the plan for most of us but if you're sitting someplace where this isn't too conspicuous this can help tremendously though relieve lower back pain and also uh, re that release fear just by itself I'll hold this just for a little bit longer There will be a sense of relaxation, perhaps a little bit of a pulse as this works. Then we take the left hand and it goes to the base of the rib cage. Now we've got the left hand at the base of the rib cage. Again, we're still clearing the kidney circuit. Kidney circuit is more specific for fear, but it also starts to affect our breathing. And of course, everybody knows when you're scared, breathing is not so easy. So releasing the base of the rib cage helps to release the diaphragm, stomach muscles, and all those other places where fear hangs out. There's also a sense of it going into the internal organs, um, and that's actually the most interesting part of this particular thing. It's internal tensions that are very hard to release any other way are released in this process. Not impossible, just not as easy. Then the left hand goes into the under the right arm and into the middle of the right chest, into the pectoral muscles, and usually you'll find a spot that's especially tender and just kind of poke around. If you don't find anything particular, just hold it any place is fine. Yogananda wrote a nice prayer for the demand, the cure of the fear habit. It has a little different title. And one part of the line is, what help me to realize that whether I'm awake or asleep, alert or dreaming, thy all-protecting presence encircles me always. And it's helpful to have that sense that there is something protecting us all the time. An awareness of our own selves, something around us that is on duty all the time so we don't have that responsibility it makes life a lot easier and as we feel that release in the chest you can feel it in either hand there's definitely a sense that the shoulders drop and a gentle kind of a pulsing feeling often then we take the left hand and it goes into the middle of the right neck you can do it from the front or the back but the front's a little bit easier and kind of get one and try not to pinch the carotid artery or nerve because that could cause um, a bit of a panic so it's gently on the neck especially on the front under the thumb And that completes the kidney, the bladder and kidney circuits for self-care. You can use some of the different affirmations for uh, releasing fear. I live protected by God's infinite light. So long as I remain in the heart of it, nothing and no one can harm me. Or as I, the one I used earlier, help me to realize that whether I'm awake or asleep, alert, or dreaming, I an all protecting presence encircles me always. Go ahead and relax now and put your hands just at the base of the that junction of the thighs and abdomen and enjoy what that feels like. How does that feel?
It's really nice. Really relaxed on the inside. Lovely. I didn't want to stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, is it still going now that you've let go of the hold? That's the part that's amazing. Is once you've turned it on, it keeps on going. It can last up to eight hours. Mm -hmm. 